so symmetric encryption is a universal technique for providing confidentiality for transmitted or stored data okay so whenever we say encryption encryption in general is a way of providing confidentiality if you can recall from our previous lecture confidentiality means somehow we have to prevent unauthorized disclosure of the data so if sender is sending some information to receiver even if the information is leaked in between okay the attacker is not able to get the meaning out of that information that information the leaked information is of no use for the attacker in that particular form okay so this is how uh, the idea behind achieving confidentiality through encryption right so we try to encrypt the data at the sender's end and then whenever the data is transmitted you know maybe through public channels or some something like that no matter the data is leaked or not even if it is leaked the attackers cannot get any meaningful information out of it and this particular encrypted data or ciphered text is only get decrypted at the recipient end right and this is how confidentiality is maintained so it is a uh, encryption is a universal technique for providing confidentiality for both whether the data we are talking about the transmission and the data in the transmission or the data which is stored somewhere okay so anywhere if we use encryption it it helps us to provide confidentiality now it also referred so now i am talking about uh, specifically uh, symmetric encryption it is referred as conventional encryption or single key encryption and i think you all can recall why it is called single key encryption because only one key there is a single key which is shared between sender and receiver and they both of them are going to use the same key for encryption and decryption simultaneously right so th therefore it is also known as single key encryption and uh, just a little bit history about uh, symmetric encryption uh, so you know this is uh, mean uh, developed in late 1970s and before a symmetric encryption this is the only way uh, symmetric encryption is the only way in which people can encrypt their data and therefore it is known as conventional encryption scheme as well right there are many groups different groups some of them we will cover in uh, you know uh, in due course of this unit uh, like caesar cipher and you know german blue board force or something there are many groups or uh, societies which actually use symmetric encryption for achieving confidentiality uh, when, whenever they communicate with each other right and still it it is the most widely used encryption scheme among the two okay so if we talk about symmetric and asymmetric you will see symmetric will be used more widely than asymmetric right why and how so all those things we will discuss a little later in the course now if we uh, if we properly observe this particular symmetric encryption uh, you know crypto system actually it has two basic requirements right so two requirements to secure or for secure use is first you need a strong encryption algorithm right by strong what i mean to say is we would like to have such a algorithm that the opponent or the adversary even if they have the algorithm even if they have the cipher text you know they are not able to decipher the cipher text or discover the key which is used to you know encrypt the data okay, so this this is uh, the definition of strong here the algorithm is in the public the cipher text also is in the public but by having the algorithm and the cipher text the adversary cannot identify the plain text which is corresponding to the cipher text given or suggested by the attacker also he cannot able to discover or figure out what is the underlying key which is used to uh, you know convert this or used in the encryption scheme the opponent should be the opponent should unable to decrypt the cipher text or discover the key right so if the attacker is in the position of the encryption algorithm 
and the cipher text so cipher text is means the uh, encrypted text if he has both of these two things still he is not able to get the corresponding plain text and he is not able to uh, discover what what should be the key he is not able to guess the key also okay then we say that the encryption is strong the second thing uh, which is needed is sender and receiver must have obtained copies of the secret key in a secure fashion and they have to keep that key secure always right because as we have study again and again since the same key single key is used for at both the ends if the key is leaked then we are in trouble right so so sender and receiver always have to obtain the copy of the keys in a secret manner okay and this is something which is called key distribution the key distribution to both the entities should be in a secure way right and we will have few questions like few observations regarding key distribution and later on we will see that what will you know uh, how, how this will become a problem for symmetric key encryption and how it can be resolved right so yes but you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever there is a key distribution involved it should be in a secure fashion okay, to all the uh, involved entities and once the user possesses the key the secret key they have to maintain the security of that key right so this is two important requirements which must be there uh, whenever we deal with symmetric encryption let's say simple model of uh, symmetric encryption so we have plain text uh, with us right let's say x is the plain text now this plain text will be given as the input to any encryption algorithm right so suppose we are using des any algorithm we can use uh, here for example des is used we have to give a key along with this algorithm okay and this key uh, should be shared i mean within the entities that is sender and receiver this algorithm will take plain text and the key right and it will apply uh, the whatever is the algorithm and the output of this algorithm will be the cipher text okay that is why at the recipient end uh, the receiver of the information what he will do he will just apply decryption algorithm on the output or on the received data um, and decryption is nothing but it is a reverse of encryption algorithm we have discussed this previously so uh, you know this uh, algorithm actually take y that is the cipher text and the key which is already shared and then you know the decryption algorithm will work on the key and the cipher text and the output will be plain text again right so can you somehow name the uh, elements which are involved here like we have uh, studied quintuple right crypto system is a quintuple so what is m here m is the plain text message that we are given in as an input right what is k k is the key which is shared um, i mean uh, between sender and the receiver of the message then we get something called cipher text which is this y right uh, uh, an encryption algorithm has actually converted the plain text into cipher text using the algorithm and the key and then we have this e and d which is the encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm respective right so this is a crypto system which use same key at both the ends therefore it is known as symmetric key encryption or single key encryption or secret key encryption right since sender and receiver share the common key key may be either same or trivially derived from each other it may be possible that uh, i can say okay i am using x as a key to encrypt the data and at the receiver end you can use 2x to decrypt the data okay so they are linearly dependent on each other they can be trivially derived from one another something like that right so uh, and therefore it is also known as secret key cryptography because somehow we have to keep this particular key quite a secret because everything um, the entire security relies on the secrecy of this secret key okay 
all right now when we talk about symmetric cryptography you know basically it is it can be broadly categorized into two uh, different types one is transposition and the other is substitution now i am writing ciphers here transposition cipher it is equivalent to encryption okay cipher text means encrypted text cipher means you know algorithm encryption algorithm are also known as ciphers um yes yeah, so I, i i may use these terms interchangeably right so transposition ciphers transposition ciphers um, are basically which deals with somehow repositioning of the text and create a encrypted version the second form is substitution cipher where we actually substitute something else in place of the given message and there are few algorithms that actually work as a combination of both of these which are, which are known as product ciphers right where transposition and substitution both the techniques could be used 